Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this. Welcome to my channel if you are new. So today's video is just going to be a one-off little chuck it in the mix video. The video that she requested I thought was a really great idea and it's going to be all on how to repair the skin, treat the skin and just look after your skin if you feel like you've overdone it with acne treatments. But to be honest with you, these tips also apply if you just overdone it with a product in general, whether it is like, I don't know, an exfoliator or just kind of like any strong ingredient. So I'm going to be giving you guys five tips slash like steps to take in this video and hopefully it's going to be a nice short and snappy video so anyway if you want to know what the tips are then just keep on watching first things quite obvious you just need to give it a break stop using all of your acne treatments anything strong on the skin if you feel like your skin is at a stage where it's like really feels like it's stripped really feel like you've just given it a big battering with products then I just recommend just stop using it all you need to give your skin the break and you need to allow it to have the break from it for it to actually repair and rest now in replace of that you definitely need to go on to just a real gentle nourishing skincare routine now your skincare routine will depend on your skin type but one thing I do see a lot of is people with oily skin they don't give their skin enough nourishment because they just want to strip all the oil off their skin but actually that can just do more harm than good so when it comes to skincare just keep it basic keep it simple and you don't need too many steps in your routine you I mean just cut it all down and just do that for a couple of weeks just to let your skin get back to a really nice state and then once you feel like your skin has recovered and it's repaired a little bit then if you wanted to add in a couple more steps to your routine then that is completely up to you but that's just personally what I recommend now this moves on well to step number two and I 100% recommend using oil now oil is so not only repairing but it's just so nourishing on the skin i mean time and time again i talk about hemp oil it's my absolute favorite oil but if you have a certain oil you know you love then just go with it but hemp oil if you haven't used oil before is a very nice oil to start with because it's really great for acne prone skin it actually really helps calm down the breakouts and the redness but it's also non-comedogenic if you do find that you do break out from hemp oil i mean really you shouldn't break out from hemp oil unless you've got a, like an alert allergic reaction to it but if you are breaking out then I would definitely say look into how you're removing it if you are removing it properly and there is a little bit of a build up on the skin of oil then that obviously can cause maybe a little bit of congestion and make you break out but if you're removing it properly you shouldn't have a problem but hemp oils are fantastic I love it just from personal experience I just find that oil just has really given me the best results when it comes to healing my skin and really getting the texture and the I don't know, the plumpness back in my skin. And then also along with that, when you are using oil, really massage it into your skin. Spend some time massaging your skin because you really want to increase the blood flow in the skin as well because that is going to help the healing process. That actually goes on really nicely to point number three, which is exercise. Now, the reason why this is important is because if you are trying to heal and repair your skin, I personally do believe it is very beneficial to get the blood pumping in the face. Sweating is fantastic. It gets out like any of the built-up toxins that we have in our skin but also just like I said increasing the cardiovascular system is going to really help the repairing side of things because you're just getting more blood flow to the face so I really do think that is benefits there just incorporating some exercise which is going to you know get your heart rate going a little bit now my next point is something that of course I'm going to talk about which is diet definitely it's like a huge percentage of this is healing yourself from within because if you think about it your skin in is, I mean it's part of our body system do you know what I mean so if you are feeding yourself the right foods which are going to help aid in repair then your skin is going to heal better like we can't always just rely on topical things so what I'm trying to say is that the whole diet aspect is going to speed up the healing that's what it's going to do because your skin's going to heal but if you you know really boost it with your diet it might heal a lot lot quicker now there's lots of great things you can pop into your diet which help the skin first things first is omega-3s and essential fatty acids they're amazing for repair in the skin so you've got like oily fish if you do eat fish avocados nuts seeds all that kind of stuff what i'm going to do guys is i'm actually going to write a little separate blog post to go alongside this video and, and that blog post will be all about all the dietary aspects which help heal the skin and for example if i say i don't know increase your vitamin e i'll have in that blog post like foods that are high in vitamin E that kind of thing so just check out that blog post for like all the extra information but I'm just going to go through which vitamins and all that kind of stuff to look out for so like I said omega 3s essential fatty acids absolutely amazing another one is like I just said vitamin E that is really really great for repairing the skin also really great for anti-aging purposes as well another one is vitamin C now obviously vitamin C helps our collagen production our brightening of the skin and collagen is such a crucial part of our skin especially if you've overdone it like you need to build that back so 
yeah, up your vitamin C in your diet. And then alongside that, which is gonna help the collagen production, is also make sure you're getting enough protein. Now, it doesn't matter what diet you have, whether this is plant protein, whether you eat meat, whatever your protein source is, just make sure you're eating enough protein because protein actually helps to rebuild our cells. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, go out and go eat loads and loads of protein. All I'm saying is just make sure that you are getting it in your diet or maybe just, I don't know, boost it up a tiny bit. And then obviously make sure you're drinking lots and lots of water. I mean, I could definitely notice it in my skin if I've drunk a lot of water, if I haven't. But I can definitely notice on a repairing side of my skin, like there's certain areas that need to be healing. For example, like if I drink lots and lots of water, I do actually notice it really does help. So really recommend that. Such a throwaway point, but it really is a huge one. And then the last step I wanna say is also pay attention to your liver. One of our most important organs, like it plays such a huge role in our body it actually has over 500 functions and I always think no matter what whether it's your skin or with something with your hormones like something in your body is not quite right I always just make sure you're looking after your liver it always seems to have some kind of connection so I really recommend making sure that you are supporting your liver I love taking dandelion drops that you pop them into a, like some water you can get them like in your health store you know just like tinctures like the little drops you pop in water that's really good milk thistles I actually like as well there is liver support like supplements and stuff but I haven't personally ever gone down that route you can do it by food as well I'll make sure in that blog post I link a couple of foods which are great for the liver but yeah I love things like dandelion or milk thistle and all you have to do is you pop them in water take them whatever time of day morning whatever and it just really helps your liver function and make sure that's working very optimally but just before I leave I just want to end it on one thing that I really recommend you don't do is just don't start going looking for other products to try and fix the damage because then you're putting other stronger ingredients on your skin and to be honest your, your skin's probably just screaming for a break so just give it a break let it rest let it repair let it do its thing and if you nourish it and do all these things that i've like just told you in this video to support it your skin will respond that is it for me guys i really hope this video was helpful make sure you're following me on my socials i'm always on instagram i love chatting to you guys on there and also make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss the next video or the next series which is going to be all about periods just giving you a little heads up and also actually on that note on instagram i've already asked my stories and um, if there's any certain videos you want to see around the topic of periods please let me know in the comments below because i'm making sure that the five videos i put out in that week are five videos that you guys really really want to see so anyway that is it from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye I'm so without you. Without you.